trying to get a mural sense from this and also uh, wanted the opportunity to work on a painting with my daughter. Oh. So she worked with me on this because she has a great sense of touch, great sense of color. And so... Uh, Does she have a practice? Does she paint? No. Okay. No. But, but she watches you paint. She has over the years. <laughs> but, and she's not a kid anymore. No. You know, she's a grown lady, but she was staying with us for a couple of weeks, so we, we took on these couple of projects. How did you decide on how much of the view to let in and like, as you're composing it, you know, what to include, what to mm -hmm. leave out, where to finish the purview, you know, like where to, where's the edge? I, um, trying to remember exactly what I was looking at because it always comes from uh, painting from history, always. Uh, and so, you know, I know that the two of us, I was showing her Vuillard things and stuff in hopes that, you know, maybe we could get some areas like, but didn't include much sky or anything just so that we got that sense of looking down mm -hmm. and thinking that in doing that, we might be able to get more pattern. And again, trying to get a sense of flatness for the, the sort of mural mentality. Hmm. What season is this? Uh, must be spring. Okay, but very, yeah, very early, right? It, truly, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. Made you decide to include this much of the balcony. It's, it's part of knowing that you're on a perch? Partly, yes. Okay. Yes. And I also thought, again, you know, it just gives a little bit of structure to it, as well as this sidewalk that almost, you know, flattens right out. And in hopes that, like, the flatness of the sidewalk can contradict the shadows mm. or the, you know, the some of the things going on underneath that tree and give a little bit of contrast where it might make them look even pop out more because of the contrast of the flatness of the, the, both the balcony and the, the sidewalk there. Right, and in terms of shapes, they are flat, and the mm -hmm. materials are mm -hmm. smoother than, well, certainly the yes. organic land, yes. but then the trees and the shadows of the trees themselves, which are very beautifully squiggled and nice. natural. Nice. I, yeah, I didn't even quite notice that, because there's actually a lot of things to look at. But well, were you looking at murals also in history? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I didn't realize but, there was like a thing to consider that might maybe different from just a large painting, we'll say. I, I guess when I think of, because I don't think of like wall paint, I certainly fresco, but not like what's through the city and stuff when I think of a mural. That's beyond what I understand how. It, but um, I think of a mural differently than a large painting in that it contains a certain flatness meaning it holds the wall and doesn't just put a hole in the wall. And, of course, some large painting is meant to, you know, really give a sense of perspective and a sense of depth that I thought it's interesting to kind of play with where some areas, just by using overlap, have a, uh, a sense of depth, but then other areas come right up to the surface. And for some reason, for many years, I've always thought that that's intriguing. To have both within this yes. flat plane. So yeah. in this painting, where's two obvious examples of each? Like where something's uh, coming? I would say that certainly the sidewalk and below the sidewalk okay. and that is very flat. And then I would think that like this shrub here, the shadows, uh, you know, sort of undulating across uh, the figures, the two dogs and the figure underneath that tree you know, maybe parts of that tree there uh, um, or would be the contrasting things. But then even, like, like this is quite flat, where this, you know, and th this was something that uh, Jessica just worked and worked and, you know, was allowed to just, like, just stay on that. Mm. And, uh, um, you know, I'll work down here kind of thing. What's um, happening with the different um, sort of shrubs? It has like a camouflage, like a classic camouflage print it almost does. to it, it but um, these are all yeah. very different patches of grass. You said spring, so early spring. Mm -hmm. You've got some, that. So what were these different bushes that and shrubs? Is, 
uh, um, these pine trees had been dropping and instead of depicting that any further we just decided that let's just play with that mm. that you know in, in trying to get you know a nice hopefully a sense of light but not really describing it very you know but then like describing that mm -hmm. laying over top of it but that is where that color was coming from was the needles of the pine trees there well you do a beautiful job with that and Thanks. like a few of other of our artists who i love really pay attention to everything like scott is one of them <laughs> scott yes. noel yeah. you know so the 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 beauty and the genius of what you're doing and what I tell people like painting is not easy so you have to decide which of those things to I don't want to say ignore but to bring more attention to yes. and um, what did you say to to bring up the detail and others not otherwise everything would be sort of the same well, uh, um, even this tree is a yes. little less yep. realized than this one yes and try to give this you know, as much more of a sense of light than, or a sense of twisting and whatnot. Yeah, uh, but maybe that's how we see, because if you're looking over a large swath of area like this, some right. things, you're paying more attention, maybe they come into focus, some things go out. I think very much so. That's and even then just the sense of attention. I, I, I'm, I've i noticed on work that I really uh, have been enjoying in the past decade or so, is how it moves your eye around mm. and you know what catches your attention and then things that take longer before you look at them and appreciate and i'm just, just trying to be more aware of that uh, um, you know so the obvious would be where there's a lot of contrast uh, mm -hmm. you know both in light dark potentially color things like that uh, are going to just pull you into these places and then other ones are going to be more subtle but hopefully you know when you settle there they're interesting but I'm trying to be more aware of that well I don't have the experience you have in that way so let me see if I get this kind of what you intended <laughs> which is this the flatness of this and also the crisscross so you're kind mm -hmm. of the arrow brings me to sort of what I consider the lightest part which is the light and the direction of these shadows yes. I'm pulled over to, to the right, probably to the light on the tree first. And then I look down below the tree just to zoom out a little. And then I see a narrative, you know, a figure and two dogs. But so that's kind of where I quickly land. And then I just get to go back and kind of go down the trails with my eyes because you end up going down that way and then this way. There's, you know, steps are always charming and, <laughs> and you can come back around because it seems to be what your driveway is doing or, <laughs> you know, what have you. Now, I, I wonder, like, does somebody's eye travel differently than somebody else's? But I wonder too. That's, that is, you know, it seems like that was certainly an obvious, you know, hmm. that, that meaning that uh, hopefully that does happen to just more than you and I. And I love just about the sheer size of it, um, that there's so many places to travel with your eyes and so many things to take in. That whole grove over there, mm -hmm. which I, still, I can see now has the colors of the pine needles, maybe, or something mm -hmm. on the ground, yes. or leftover yeah. leaves from the season before. And the pine trees are just beautiful. What is the size exactly? Uh, I think 78 by 90. Lovely. Three, something like that. I'm actually really... One of my, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to have it in the next group of work, but my attempt is to start painting smaller. <laughs> that is like <laughs> well, one you of have my smaller paintings, goals. but interesting. Yes. I, I think you have a nice range. I've seen smaller paintings that you have I, too. And does yes. this have a name? Uh, uh, at this point, I think it we put on their uh, front yard. I think that that's what. Well, you have a beautiful front yard, and this is a beautiful painting. Thanks. Are these your Thanks. dogs, by the way? Uh, one is, and one's our daughter's dog. Okay. Yeah. And who would the figure be? Uh, I think that I was thinking of it more as uh, our wife, okay. or my wife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, well, thank you. Thank you.